my gymnastics career was kind of plagued with different coaches using abusive practices towards me. So I dealt with both physical and psychological abuse from various coaches in my journey. And when I was very young, that was physical abuse of kind of forcing me to physically do skills I was terrified of doing and then kind of dropping me from the beam and like dragging me back to do the skills or forcing me to train on stress fractures in my back when I was crying and in pain and not being believed from that perspective and being shouted at and screamed at and the whole thing about being tied to the bar I wasn't tied to the bar but we have these things called straps and I was strapped on and I was on that bar for so long and the blood was coming through my gloves and I was forced to continue um and yeah so that happened I moved away from that club and moved to Nottingham um and experienced a lot of psychological abuse there um gaslighting being made to feel like I was never good enough and then a lot of like extreme weight management and weight shaming techniques so by the end of my career I was medically retired with fractures in my spine Mm. and um uh, severe eating disorder so I spent that last year of my a-level career in hospital having operations in hospital getting treatment for an eating disorder that didn't really sort itself out until I was 22 23 years old um I mean it still has an impact now and I still have PTSD now I have the nightmares from things that happened to me when I was a child and I have to avoid places and I still have weird smell responses to the perfume my coaches wore it makes me feel physically sick like I'm just that terrified still um so it has a massive knock-on impact on the rest of your life 